if money loses value at the rate of 2.5% per year, answer these questions. What function defines the value of one dollar in t years? Second, what is the value of one dollar in 12 years? And finally, estimate the cost of $80 pair of shoes in 50 years. Let's answer the first question. What function defines the value of one dollar in t years? Let's write the solution here below. Because we are going to be thinking in a function, let's call this function f. And the first thing I'm going to think is the function evaluated in one year. So f of one will be one dollar, that is the value now, minus 2.5% of one dollar. So the value of one dollar in one year, and this one here represents one year, will be one dollar minus 2.5% of this one dollar. So it's actually one minus 0 0.025, or better, 0 0.975. So this will be the value of one dollar in one year. So what happened in year two? In year two will be this value, 0 0.975, minus 2.5% of this 0 0.975. So in year number two, so f of two, we're gonna have 0 0.975 minus 2.5% of this 0 0.975. So minus 0 0.025 of 0 0.975. So minus 2.5% the value of the money at this moment, at that moment. So that gives me the, I can see this, that 0 0.975 is a common factor. So that will be 0 0.975 that multiply one minus 0 0.025. So you, this will be again 0 0.975. So this is actually 0 0.975 multiplied by 0 0.975. This is 0 0.975 squared. So what we noted that what we need to do is just multiply the previous value times 0 0.975. And obviously what is gonna happen is that the exponent of 0 0.975, 0 0.975, it will be increasing by one. So the value of the dollar of one dollar in three years, so f of three, will be 0 0.975 to the power three. In four years, will be f of four, 0 0.975 to the power four, etc. So we need always to be multiplying by 0 0.975, and that will be increasing the exponent. So it means the value of the dollar in t years will be f of t will be 0 0.975 to the power t. And this will be the function that defines the value of this one dollar in t years. So we have answered the first question. Let's try the answer here at the top. f of t equals 0 0.975 to the power t. This is the function that defines the value of one dollar in t years. So the independent variable is the time in t years. So now I can know the value of the dollar in 10 years, in 20 years, etc. The only thing that I need to do is substitute t by the number of years I want to compute the value of the dollar. For example, in questions two, let's answer this question too. What is the value of one dollar in 12 years? And we know that the function is f of t equals 0 0.975 to the power t. Let's type this here, f of t 0 0.975 to the power t. And the only that I need to do, I already told you, that is just substitute t by 12. So it will be f of 12 equals 0 0.975 to the power 12. Use a calculator and we have answered the second question. 0.74. I have rounded this to two decimal places. So this, the value of one dollar in 12 years will be 0.74. What does it mean? That in 12 years, with one dollar, 
I just can buy 0.74 of something I can buy now with one dollar. So one dollar can buy only 0.74 of the things that I can buy now with one dollar. So let's write the answer here beside the questions. The value of one dollar in 12 years will be 0.975 to the power 12 or equal 0.74. Okay, so now we can answer the last question. Estimate the cost of $80 pay, pair of shoes in 15 years. And let's write the solution here. So we know that in 12 years, just let's think first in these 12 years. I know that in 12 years I can buy only 0 0.74 of something I can buy now with $1. Just think in 12 years. So in 12 years, with $80, I can buy 0 0.74 of something that I can buy now with this $80, with this pair of shoes, for example. Or I can say that with $80, I can buy 0 0.975 to the power 12p. Obviously, with this 0 0.975 to the power 12 is the way I compute this 0 0.74. So I just do that because I want that you notice that in 15 years with $80 I can buy 0 0.975 to the power 15 multiplied by P. So if this is the pair of shoes, I just can buy this fraction of the pair of shoes with this $80. To know what is the price of shoes, the only thing that I need to do is just solve this equation for this value of this pair of shoes. So this number that is multiplying here can be written at the other side, at the, at the bottom of the fraction. So it will be then the price will be $80 divided by 0 0.975 to the power 15. Use your calculator and you will notice that this is the price. So 116.96 will be the value of this pair of shoes if the change in the value depends only in the way that money loses its values. So it will be 116.96. Okay, with this I finish to explain this question. Thank you.